All right, I want to get into Joe Biden. So there's a lot of people right now that may be watching my stream and talking about it in their bizarre fucking intra, like, you know, like in their Discord servers and their Slack channels talking about how I'm a neoliberal corporate sellout, how I'm a Democrat party plant and all that kind of shit. That's what people say about me. Can we talk, like, before I get into this clip, right? I want to talk, like, there's, there are, like, legitimately, like, hundreds of people out there. And this is maybe, like, the sign of success thing, like, when I've got haters or something, right? But, like, there are legitimately hundreds of people out there that do podcasts calling me, like, a Democratic Party operative. And, like, I'm some rich CIA, like, boutique left, whatever the fuck that means, right? So, I, I just think that's really funny. But I want to talk about Joe Biden's $15 minimum wage waffling. Uh, this clip here is, uh... Very bad, actually. It's it's not good at all. So let's watch. To the first part of our exclusive interview with President Biden. In the wide-ranging conversation, we asked about where he's willing to negotiate in his stimulus plan. You've said you're not compromising on the $1,400 checks. You no. made that promise. You're sticking to it. So the big question is who gets exactly the check? Exactly right. Is it someone who makes up to $50,000 or is it someone who makes up to $75,000? I'm prepared to negotiate that, but here's the deal. Middle class folks need help, but you don't need to get any help to someone making 300,000 bucks or 250. So, so I just want to say again, this is all based on 2019 tax filings. Uh, there are a lot of people that lost their jobs over the course of the pandemic. That's the whole point of fucking stimulus checks is because people lost their motherfucking jobs, right? So I'm told that you can file uh, your taxes early or whatever, and then they can use that filing date, but not everyone has the co like capability of doing so. Like a lot of people do not know how to file their own taxes. A lot of people do not have the money to pay like H&R Block or fucking TurboTax or whatever. So this is an important thing, right? This is an extremely important thing. Um, the superior way to give relief to people would be to give every single person in this country $2,000 a month retroactive to March. And then, if they make too much money, scrape it back on the next tax year. That is, that's the way you get the door, this shit out the door super fast. You don't have to do three weeks of, oh, but no, oh, are they getting this money? Oh, blah, blah, blah. You give more people the money, you get it to them faster, and then you scrape more back later and more effectively, and you waste less tax dollars with means testing. So I just want to be honest here. Joe Biden, if I, a high school dropout, can think of a better plan than the President of the United States, I've got news for you. This guy's no good. It's somewhere between an individual making up to 75 and phasing out and a couple making up to 150 and phasing out. But again, I'm wide open on what that is. You also want to raise the minimum wage to $15. Is that something you would be willing to negotiate on in order to get Republican support? Well, apparently that's not going to occur because of the rules of the United States Senate. So you're saying uh, the minimum wage won't be in this? My record. guess is it will not. What? Apparently that's not going to occur? What? In order to get Republican support. Well, apparently that's not going to occur because of the rules of the United States Senate. I'd like to remind Joe Biden that he is the president of the United States. He is not like some dipshit motherfucker, right? He is the president of the United States. You can go out there every single day in all these Republican districts and say your senator is standing in the way of you and $15 minimum wage. He is the president of the United States. Now, I know a lot of Republican voters don't like him that much, right? But you're telling me you're not even going to fight for it? He's not even going to fucking fight for it? Are you joking? So you're saying the minimum wage won't be in this? My guess is it will not be in it. But I do think that we should have a minimum wage stand by itself, $15 an hour, and work your way up to the 15 It doesn't have to be boom. And all the economics show if you do that. I want to put a pin in that. Um, the plan that they put out was a phase-in, uh, that would reach, uh, $15 an hour in 2026. 2026. Reminder, uh, the U.S. currency inflates at about, around 2-ish percent per year. So by the time 2026 comes around, $15 an hour will be a, a poverty wage. Now, it would probably be better in 2026 than 725 is right now, but not by much. Right, so I want you to 
you know, to understand that. So this guy is saying, we don't have to do it boom right now. His plan says that it'll be done by 2026. Let's watch. The whole economy rises. I am prepared as president of the United States on a separate negotiation on minimum wage to work my way up to, from it, what it is now, which is pain. Look, no one should work 40 hours a week and live below the poverty wage. Remember, that was one of Bernie Sanders' lines. He's just like, what if I just say the Bernie thing? What if I just say the Bernie thing? And live below the poverty wage. And if you're making less than $15 an hour, you're living below the poverty wage. But that may not be in your American Rescue Plan. No. If you're, if you're making less than $15 an hour, you're living bef below the poverty wage. So let's increase it to $15 an hour in 2026 when I'm no longer president. What? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I, I put it in, but I don't think it's going to survive. Let's turn to the impeachment trial. President Trump's impeachment trial. If you were still a senator, would you vote to convict him? Look, I... Any answer that's not yes here, any answer that's not yes here proves that this guy's a beta male motherfucker. Look, I ran like hell to defeat him because I thought he was unfit to be president. I've watched what everybody else watched, what happened when that, that crew invaded the United States Congress. But um, I'm not in the Senate now. I'll let the Senate make that decision. Well, let me ask you How then something that you do have yes. oversight of as president. Should former President Trump still receive intelligence briefings? I think not. Why not? Because of his erratic behavior unrelated to the insurrection. I mean, you've called him an existential threat. You've called him dangerous. You've called him reckless. Yeah, I have, and I believe it. What's your worst fear if he continues to get these intelligence briefings? I'd rather not speculate out loud. I just think that there is no need for him to have that, that intelligence briefing. What value is giving him an intelligence briefing? What impact does he have at all, other than the fact he might slip here. and say something? Uh, but anyway, this clip is just whatever. Um, Joe Biden's not good. Um, and uh did you use the word smart uh so you said you went to delaware state but you forgot the name of your college <laughs> you didn't go to delaware state you graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class don't ever use the word smart with me don't ever use that word oh give me a break because you know what uh, there's nothing smart about you joe so uh, that's my opinion on joe biden uh not great again if 15 dollars is reprehensible or any or making below fifteen dollars is reprehensible. How come your best plan is to get it done by twenty twenty six? Yeah, that was probably loud. I still have the gain on. My bad, but it's funny, so who cares? Um, you can cry about it, motherfucker. Anyway, uh, my point here is that Joe Biden's not sending his best. Could you imagine Bernie Sanders sitting in that chair? Could you imagine? My lord, my lord. If only. I want to, like, look through one of those, like, snow globes that lets you see, like, an alternate universe. Um. My ears are crying. And now. I made a mistake. So it was 10% louder than usual. It happens. I'm not perfect. What do you think I am? Like, this is a one-person show. What do you think? I have producers? What do you think I have, like, a whole production studio? You think I've got, like, 13 people with switchboards making sure all the audio's good? Come on. Come on. Get your work straight, Jack. Come on. Come on. 